Hey guys, it's your boy Alex here and today I'm going to elaborate to you how to maximize our genetic potential for men and for girls alike. So for men, aka our gender, the gender that I am from, you need to increase testosterone and DHT which is dehydrotestosterone. This dehydrotestosterone is literally testosterone going through 5 alpha reductase. You need to increase HDH and IGF1, which is human growth hormone and insulin growth factor 1. Insulin growth factor 1 is actually produced by the human growth hormone from the liver. Decrease myostatin, which stops muscle growth. For example, people that are skinnier than usual have less amount of has a great amount of mass that end than people who are more lean, buff and bulky and stocky. Then there's folistatin which increases muscle speed growth. So this is another protein that increases how quickly you grow muscle. The more you have it, the quicker you increase in muscle. And last but not least, decrease estrogen. You don't want to have titties yeah as a man you don't want to have soft girly titties as a man so decrease estrogen and if you have all that my statin is a fat burner makes you a lot leaner testosterone also is a leaner my statin is basically for bulking and stuff if you want to get massive decrease that that hormone and increase for statin if you want to get tall these this is the hormone for you and if you want to be masculine and conquer your fears of a lot of things, that's the hormone for you. Now on to girls. For girls, you want girls with big tits. So already, estrogen, progesterone, and these three hormones. These hormones and factors already must be at a high level if you want your girl to have a big tit, big bum. However, if you want her to be lean, increase that, decrease myostatin, However, you don't want your girl to have testosterone because either she will attack you, number one. Number two is that she will develop body hair because testosterone causes body hair to arrive. DHT causes balding, but that's for men. For women, it causes other things. It could also cause balding for women. I'm not saying because you're a woman. DHT is an androgen that it causes, attacks the hair follicle, the hair at the follicular at the follicles. So for women, in de decrease DHT. And for if you are, uh, and let me clarify, if you are sensitive to hair loss, decrease DHT unless you want every piece of hair gone. You can rock a bald, you can rock a bald cut, a bald trim, because that will make you look manly. Not like, let's say you have a massive bald patch and stuff, and you have bits of hair. That does not look good. But if you're rocking a full bald or whatever, or a reed CD hairline that looks, that rocks on you. And some sunglasses and stuff, that will rock you. That will rock on you. So, yeah. So, in conclusion, those two genders must increase and decrease the specific hormones to maximize their genetic potential. Alright, I hope you find this information beneficial if not well i'm sorry if you got a bit emotional that's from the estrogen running estrogen running from your body when i had a lot of estrogen i got emotional from the smallest thing so yeah i can understand how you feel so yeah i hope you lot have a nice day peace out